Hi, and welcome to Cup of Tea, where you get short, useful tech tips to help you in the online and face-to-face -face classroom. I'm Monica Cueva, and in today's video, I'll show you a few quick tips to help you manage your Canvas dashboard. So let me head to Canvas, and we'll get started. Okay, now we're in Canvas, and I'll show you how you can Marie Kondo your dashboard. So if you have a lot of course cards on your dashboard that you're not currently using, as I do here, or that maybe don't bring you joy, then let's go ahead and get them out of here. We can't delete courses from Canvas, but we can hide them. And that's what I'll show you how to do. So to remove course cards from your dashboard, go to your left global navigation, click on the courses icon, which is the textbook icon. When you click on that, you should see a list of all the courses that are currently visible from your dashboard. Go all the way to the bottom and click on the All Courses link. This will bring up an extensive list of all the courses you've ever taught or participated in in our district canvas. So of course we don't want all of these to appear on our dashboard. So we will unmark the star next to the courses that we don't want to appear on our dashboard. And the courses that have a marked star next to them are the ones that will appear on our dashboard. You don't have to click save. These will automatically be saved and you can always come back and just rearrange your courses and make changes. So um, this is not permanent. Once you've made your selections, you can go back to your dashboard and you'll see now that I have a lot fewer course cards on my dashboard. Another helpful tip is that you can move the cards around. So for example, I have these two cards at the bottom that I teach and go into every day. So I want those right at the top, very easily accessible. So I'll just click on the course card and drag it to the top. And I'll do the same with this one. And so now I can just, those are the first things I see when I go to my dashboard. It makes it a little bit easier for me. And another tip to help you keep your dashboard organized um, might be that you would use the overlay, the color overlay feature. And so you can enable this by going to the top right three dots. You can also call this the skinny snowman or the stoplight, whatever you prefer. So I'll click on the skinny snowman. I'll go down to the bottom. I'll select color overlay. And you'll see it puts a shade over my course cards. And so this is just a way that you can use to categorize your courses. You can use it as a filing system. You can change the color by clicking on the skinny snowman of each card and choosing a different color and then click apply. So this can just help me keep my courses a little bit more organized. If you don't like that feature, you can disable it. Again, going up to the skinny snowman in the top right, and then just click color overlay so the check mark is no longer there. So you have now disabled it. And another tip is that you can nickname your courses. So you can see I've given a nickname to each of these courses and you can do that for all of them. So this course down here, if I want to provide a nickname, I'll click the skinny snowman and in the box under nickname, I can type in something that is easier for me to identify. And it's always good to put the semester in there, the year. So, um, but just remember that these changes that you use on your dashboard, such as nickname, color overlay, they don't transfer over to your students' dashboards. It's maybe something that you would like to show them how to do, but you making the changes on yours doesn't make it happen on theirs. And lastly, it's always good to have course card images. Um, something that stands out to students so they can quickly find your course. It's nice if you can have something more personal with the course name, um, but that does take a little time to create. I've created mine with a free account at Canva, canva.com. So that's an option, but if you want something easier, you can always upload an image of yourself or maybe upload a screenshot of your students in a Zoom meeting with their signed permission, of course 
or you could always just upload it from the Unsplash web website that is provided to us from Canvas. So if you click on your course where you'd like to change the card image, go to the bottom left, select settings, make sure the course details tab is selected, and then click on the skinny snowman where the image is, choose image, and then you can see you can upload an image from your computer or you can find one on Unsplash. When you've added your image, just make sure that you go down to the bottom and select update course details. Okay, those are all the tips I have for you now about managing your Canvas dashboard and I hope you have fun getting organized. Thanks so much.